are we? What are we doing? What are we doing? Welcome. Welcome. Mwah. How is everyone? It's Saturday here at Crouch After Dark. It's Saturday here in Australia. Melbourne, Australia. That's where we are. And we've got all the lighting set down real low. Like one of the main lights is off. This one. Oh, excuse me. It's going to be a rough stream. Got my fedora on. I am absolutely stuffed. Kim made some beautiful, delicious sort of creamy pasta before. Got bacon in it, so I can't have it. Yeah, I had like prosciutto. It was amazing, amazing. But I'm absolutely stuffed. I've been eating chocolate and Tim Tams and biscuits and. He hasn't had anything since yet. No, I haven't. I've got some street. Some stream snacks lined up, but I don't know if I can. Welcome! My name is Viv. This is my daughter, Charlotte. She needs to go off to bed soon. She's just... Whoa! How many Tim Tams have you had? Four? Mm -hmm. This is my last one. Yeah, you betcha that's the last one. <laughs> How is everybody? I hope everybody is well. We're, uh, we're doing a little bit of chill uh, exploration today. Um... Oh... As I try to, you know, cope with this stomach full of, you know, <laughs> sugar and, and, and bread. Oh, boy. What has been going on? What has everyone, has, has everyone seen the latest news about uh, Security Post Korea and uh, the changes that they're making there? What do you think about the changes to you know, removing, you know, the crime stat terminals from the underground facilities there's a division amongst the community oh boy <clears throat> let's just jump straight in right let's jump straight in and we can have a chat as we go let me get up my uh little chart here so having rabbit it on excuse me in the past about not looking up coordinates for locations oh i seem to be in the bed of my 300 i that's a great start let's get a little bit of music on hey this is very tense isn't it What's happening? Who's here in the chat? Matt is here in the chat. How are you, Matt? Good evening. Um, evening Matter says, Hearn, Hearn, how are you? <clears throat> Thanks for joining us in the chat. You're probably grabbing the Tim Tams before anyone else discovers them. A cold coffee Tim Tam slam. Well, you know, very sadly, very sadly, uh, I've got a cold coffee here. It's a cold mocha, actually, um, that I made with some long life milk. And it's cold because it's just rancid. We, we don't have any fresh milk. You know, two litres of milk just disappeared overnight. How the hell? I've no idea. Ah. I'll still sip on it just to, you know, keep keep, keep me going. Minda says, hey, uh, Charlotte and Viv. It's almost time for her bedtime. What are they doing to Security Post Korea? Look forward to seeing changes in five years. So you can't clear your crime stat anymore. It sounds like a police station. You can, but it's three more steps work for no real good reason other than they want you to force VP, uh, uh, PVP. Let's just turn this down. Hello, Reese. How are you? Good evening. Yes, yeah, so um, uh, CIG just recently released uh, a, a uh, what was it? It wasn't an inside Star Citizen. It was a uh, some sort of update. I never remember which ones they are. Why can I not get up? Over on the YouTube channel, which is where I first saw it, and I'm sure it's up on uh, Spectrum and all that sort of business. But this morning, I was was it this morning? Maybe yesterday. I can't quite remember. Um. So they're changing. Uh, Korea, they're they're reinstating it. Crusaders taking it back over. They're they're repopulating it with security personnel, um, and uh, you can go there now and you can take on the security personnel. Oh, okay. 
Wow. <laughs> um. Cool. That was amazing. I have no idea what happened. But we're, we're definitely out here in space. We're definitely out here. Can we move around? Yeah, we can move around. All right, that's interesting. So, yes, you can go to Korea in this new update to clear your crime stat. You can fight the guards that are there. They could be walking around on the pads outside and stuff. Clear out the guards. Excuse me. This is going to be a super interesting stream. Then a boss spawns and you get to fight the boss. Once you fight the boss, then you get a security code from him, like a little tablet that's got a security code on it. You need that security code then to hack the terminal to clear your crime stat. Um, I I didn't, don't recall seeing, um, well, this is super annoying because that's Calliope right in front of us. Just to get back to what we're doing. And I had prepped, I'd flown the 59 million kilometers here before the stream. Somehow I did still manage to start late, but you know, you know, <laughs> you know how it goes. Um, because Calliope is the first place we are going. There is one wreck, one old wreck. We're looking at the old wrecks here. Um, we're not going to the outposts and all that sort of stuff. I'll do those. I haven't been to those yet either, but you know, I, I realized the other day, you know, I've been doing so much in Star Citizen. That kind of feels like there's not much left to do. Um, and then, I, you know, I was chatting with Space Tomato and uh, other people over in the garden and stuff. And, and, you know, I said, I haven't even been to all the moons yet. So I thought, you know, I know that uh, the garden wants to organize something soon. So, you know, we'll, we'll get involved in that. But, you know, there's wrecks that have existed in the game for a while and I haven't visited any of them. Well, one of them, I think, that I keep on getting sent to on Walla. But there's one out here in Microtech and it's at Calliope. So I flew the 300i out here. We bedlogged. We got up. We got out of bed. And then the ship decided that it probably had to be teleported back somewhere because someone more important needed it. Oh. The inside star citizen. What struck me about the inside Star Citizen is that the office was completely empty of people and gear. Just the community manager at a desk. Yeah, so Jared films those now from their office that they're building in Manchester. So that's still being built. It hasn't been completed yet. Um, but they're, they're, they're building a massive uh, motion capture studio. Um, you know, they, that's their, you know, their new headquarters there. So they're in the process of building that. So nobody's there at the moment. They're, it's still being fitted out. So Jared films... You know, his, uh, his videos from essentially that construction site. <laughs> um, had a stress-free day. That means no Star Citizen today. I have noticed that I've started to slow down a little bit. Um, I'm not entirely sure what uh, to do out here. So I guess really, um, just to take the easy way out, we can just, you know, log off. But this was something else that has come up recently in discussion is, uh, you know, persistency, obviously with the uh, persistent entity streaming coming in 3.18. Um, you know, all these discussions about uh, persistence, player persistent and player state persistence. Um, you know, if I logged off there, when I logged back on, I would still be there, you know, like you would in many MMOs. Um, so that's come up in, 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 the, in the news recently or in the community recently. Do I need a pickup? No, no, I bailed, man. <laughs> So it should be interesting to see what happens. As you know, the community is divided. You can see it in the YouTube comments. You can see it on the forums. Um, you know, it's it's very, very easy right now to get a crime stat. And, you know, a level one or a level two, uh, you can pay off. Uh, but you've got to be able to get to a terminal to do that. You know, in some cases, you can just log off and log back on and you'll wake up in your habs, go down and pay the terminal. Or you could fly to Grim Hex you know, go to the payment terminal. Um, but sometimes, you know, it's a nice adventure to go into a facility and, and, and you know, hack your crime stat. Sometimes it can be the only, you know, possibility. Not being able to do that and forcing us 
into a, a hostile PvP zone. Um, you know, I don't, I don't like the sound of that at all. Um, I can certainly see, you know, that they want Korea to have, and they specifically mentioned it, that old school vibe where, you know, it was PvP. That's, you know, it was the only place that people could be, and that's where PvP happened. And they want the old days of that to return. But, uh, and, you know, I think that's cool, right? You can go there, you can fight the guards, you can spawn a boss, you know, all this other cool stuff. You can go there to PvP and Bounty Hunt. If you want to go do some pew pew, you'll always know there'll be people at Korea, right? Um, but if you don't want to do that, there's no other option. Um, other than, you know, dying and going to jail. I think it's just a bit disappointing. The subject of food had come up recently here at Area 18. There's food everywhere. Obviously, we've got this burrito guy here. And um, just just on the other side over here. Whoa. Uh, just down there, hot dog man. There's, um, there's dudes with burritos over here underneath the stairs. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Oh. Honestly, I think they should leave bunker terminals. Uh, should remain. People who want to go fight over free drugs will do so. Yeah. Oh, and that's the other thing that they're adding in. Yes, of course. Probably the biggest news item, or the biggest feature, I suppose, at Security Post Korea, the update. Move forward. Let's get a little bit of bottery happening. Um, is that there is now, you know, an evidence locker that you can break into once you've killed the guards and the boss and stuff. You can go to the evidence terminal, which spews out, you know, different sorts of stuff. You know, they said in their video, sometimes it could be just be scrap. You know, other times it could be contraband or drugs or, you know, that sort of stuff. Kind of like the facility or the terminal that's at Jump Town. But obviously it's just not spitting out continuous drugs. Um, so yeah, some, some super interesting changes there. Um, they all sound super amazing and super exciting. Um, but I'm just n not convinced that uh, removing all of the other terminals in the underground facilities is a great idea it just really limits gameplay and forces people into a specific style of playing in the sandbox not everybody's up for pvp fighting and adventure and all that sort of stuff you know not everybody's up just to you know walk around um that was super interesting that dude colliding into me and forcing me to run <laughs> amazing um so we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'm hoping that there will still be some alternatives. Obviously, yes, with the lower crime stats, as I mentioned, you can pay those off. Um, if you're already in and you don't want to log off and log back in at your Habs, your only option really is to go to Boom Hex or try and avoid the cannon fire as you try and sneakily land at a uh, landing station. Excuse me. Of that train man i was all ready so i think instead i was going to start up at calliope uh we were going to start up here at calliope and then you know work our way down the eastern seaboard here or the eastern the eastern seaboard the eastern uh um system board uh, um and then finish up uh, over at crusader We'll be here for a little while tonight. I've got a few little bits of stream snacks and stuff. I've got some Tim Tams, some squirms, and a few other bits and pieces. I don't know how many of them I'm going to eat, but uh, you know, we'll see how we go. I've got my uh, cup of tea. So, uh, you know, peppermint tea. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how we go. All right, let's jump back up in that chat. Hopefully, let me get YouTube. Uh, what are we doing? Are we going somewhere or on a train? Let's get out of here. We'll go. Uh, did I... I think I missed the stop. Are we on the way back? I think we're on the way back. Mm, no. No, we're on the way there. Sweet. We'll get up into uh, Quantum Drive, then we'll uh, then we'll have a bit of a, a, a chat about uh, the missions tonight, the, the sites we're going to. Obviously, I think they should leave Bunker Terminal should remain. Yes. Some people only fight with others when they have to. I don't like to pick fights. Now arriving. 
If the community kicks up a big enough stink, they may change their mind. The guy who was suggesting it looked like he was about 12 years old. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he doesn't look very old, that, that kid, does he? Um... I'm honestly not overstressed about the changes. I'm sure there will be more in the future that I will scratch my head over. Hey, Bib says Jason the Bruce. You know, look, it's, you know, I was thinking about this uh, today, um, that the game is obviously, you know, a long way from being uh, anywhere near a beta, let alone a release. And a lot of the things that are happening right now are still very much, you know, building block sort of stuff. Which is why I'm not in any great hurry, you know, I'd rather just, you know, just enjoy my gameplay for the moment. We're going to get a wipe, you know, for 3.18 anyway. Um, I really want to explore the game and I've really been enjoying it, you know, playing from this perspective. You know, wandering around, just taking everything in. Um, and, you know, finally, you know, discovering and adventuring around Star Citizen. So I do have some coordinates that were posted up, someone posted up on... Uh, the garden uh, discord um some coordinates to a bunch of wrecks these are the original wrecks from 317 um that's uh so then we were all in place look we were there at calliope and you just despawn on me ship ah rog good evening jason thank you for joining me here tonight Couch after dark it's saturday we'll be here for a few while a little while a little while we'll see six seven maybe seven hours i do want to hit up all of these uh wreck sites if you do want to see that i'm sure this map has been around it's uh was discovered and mapped by ish taunt and uh the man on mars um it's over on the discord there's a link in the in the description of this video to to the discord to our discord and it's there in the star citizen chat channel a little craft with uh how many are there? Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve wreck sites. These are all ones that you can get to when you do uh, various delivery missions and stuff. Whilst we're talking about missions, let's just jump into uh, the contract manager and sort out a call to arms. So sometimes when you do these delivery missions, you can pick up packages from, uh, um, you know, wreck sites and crashes and stuff, or searches. And... Oh! The extra million from earlier uh, in the week, uh, was that supposed to be to everyone? Well, that is what I thought. Um, but I never received it. I never received it. Um, I just couldn't be bothered looking into it. You know, I did see it come up in a couple of places. People saying, you know, if you had maybe spent a whole bunch of the funny money, you they may not have given you the, the, the million credits this time. But that sounds like a whole bunch of hoo-ha and nothing about that I don't think CIG would be super in interested in doing. Um, so I'd assume that they would have just given it to everyone. And the fact that I didn't get it, you know, there could be all sort of different sorts of reasons. Um, but I haven't gone looking to see if this is a systemic problem, if other people have had it, you know, what the situation is. You didn't get it either, I assume. Been out, uh, I didn't get it either, and I didn't get crazy money either. Yeah, right. Okay. I guess you could bring it up on the Spectrum forums. Or lodge a ticket if you really want your million dollars, because they did say they were going to give it to everyone. Right, where's our ship? So instead of flying out to Calliope, we'll just, we'll just start again here. Um, we'll, we'll just start again from this side, maybe Welcome go over to Walla and Lyria, to see what's there. That's the plan for tonight. That is the plan for tonight. As we do that, um, I'll jump into Discord in a minute. I'm going to go hang out in the streaming channel on Discord. 
Um, and if you want to come on and have a chat about something, you know, Star Citizen, or you know, tell me your opinion on the latest updates, etc., etc., feel free uh, to drop into that channel, and we can uh, have a bit of a chat. And we'll see how we uh, how how things go. We might form a little party over the evening of a few of us trekking around to some of these sites. Whoever wants to tag along with me uh, when we do that would be welcome. If we can get a ship out. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Thank you for Please visit us again. Stand in Goodbye. Goodbye. So hopefully everything is okay tonight with the stream. We've obviously had a, a couple of issues uh, with the codex that I was trying to uh, to use. So we're back to 1080p for tonight. Um, so I can spend a little bit more time figuring out why the 1440p wasn't really working out very well. The six? Yeah. All right, so uh, if we're looking at that image that's on the Discord and we look at Art Corp, so there's two on Lyria and two on Walla. Well, I like Lyria. Let's go to Lyria. Oh boy! <clears throat> Uh, Hearn didn't get the uh, extra meal either. I don't mind too much. It's less than a day's work. It's true. Oh, good people out there grinding up their monies. I had a couple of uh, orders finish up at the refinery, so I trucked those in the other day. And in anticipation of, you know, putting together some, uh, you know, sightseeing sort of groups for, uh, for new players over in the garden. Um, thought I'd get out there and go explore some of these wrecks tonight. And it's worked out perfectly because I'm so just bloated and, you know, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> my stomach hurts. I'm not full of energy. I just want to chill. So we've got all the lights down. Hopefully the quality is okay. We've got the lights at the bare minimum. As I sit down here in the dark. It's actually quite bright here. But uh, it, lo it looks dark on the camera, so... Right, let's go to Lyria. And the first one on the list has us levering from cell 5. Yeah. Cannot set the route yet. Okay, we'll get out into the. That uh, we'll get out into our orbit. Retract the landing gear. Landing gear is being retracted, Commander. Oh boy, where's my peppermint tea? Star Citizen has 30k and hard crashed on me so much. I'm avoiding Thank logging you. in. It's never been this unstable for me yet. I think uh, that is very much a shared uh, 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 a perception at the moment. It is a shared reality. Yeah, it's been real bad. It's been real bad. <clears throat> All right. Well, what have we got out here? Let's have a bit of a look around. Let's get up here. Oh, I'm six. That'll do. Whatever. Just need to get away from the planet a little bit. A little bit of distance between us and the planet so we can pro plot a proper course. So I figured out the issue with my, you know, wrap over the ear uh, headphones. This this used to, and it, and it came with, a little microphone boom arm. And uh, I lost that a long, long time ago. And when I'd open up specific sorts of app applications, 
Um, and specifically, obviously, the ones that we're using here, OBS, you know, Star Citizen, you know, audio players and, you know, different, that's, that sort of stuff. Everything would stop working and I'd hear this terrible, terrible white noise. And, uh, obviously, it's nice to be able to wear these because then I can still rock a hat. Uh, and it finally figured it out today that uh, the headset when specific types of applications were open that could accept an audio import it was activating the speaker on here but there's nothing plugged into the speaker it was a little device you had to plug in um so i've disabled that and everything is working fine so we can rock our fedoras now so i'm expecting a super chill night we'll see how we go 30ks and crashes and all that sort of stuff aside um yeah it's been pretty brutal Alrighty. Let's go to cell 5 and we'll explore this first wreck. So apparently you can get really good loot at these wreck sites. So, you know, people who are into, you know, the search for cool stuff. Uh, which is where I think this uh, image that I've got on the Discord at the moment originally came from. It was part of the one of the industry group or part of the exploration group or something that someone posted up on the, the discord there oh man Crouch is going to do something tonight I've never done in Star Citizen, so it's going to be an education for me. Or just aimlessly wandering around checking things out. <laughs> I just need a little bit of a break from the constant grind, you know? And there's and there's there's a lot here to actually learn. If you if you wanted to, and I've mentioned this in multiple streams now, if you wanted to actually have a profession and be good at it, then you know you need to spend the time learning. And, uh, you know, I, I don't think I'd make a very good profession at anything. I've got an absolutely terrible memory. But, uh, you know, I've used the, the example of the navigator multiple times. Um, the, a navigator will be able to tell you how to go somewhere without having to show you, you know, without, you know, without using the star map, so to speak. Directions and all that sort of stuff. We lack some tools, some very basic tools for that sort of navigation. And hopefully we'll get those as time goes on. So we need to get straight up over the mining facility here. See, one of those basic tools that we need right now is to be able to set a waypoint on this location and travel to it without having to have the whole quantum drive open. <laughs> Starstreams is here in the chat. How are you? I hope you're keeping well. I hope you've had a wonderful weekend. We're here, we're chilling out, we're doing some wreck discovery. We might do a couple of box missions. We just, uh, chilling in the dark down here we've got all the lights set to the lowest levels they can be and um we're just going to enjoy ourselves a little bit of orchestral music and some beautiful sights here at um the citizen <laughs> that's the plan that is the plan all right so we need to get to the facility let's get a little bit of altitude i'll just vertically thrust straight up and so we want to head 337 so you can see in the middle of the screen our ribbon. This is our direction, directional ribbon. So right now we're sort of pointing, you know, five degrees. True north, 360. So we want to go 337, right? So somewhere back around here somewhere. So somewhere around here, right? 35, uh, a little bit further. Where are we going? 337? Yeah, somewhere around here. Now we can press the shift key. The right shift key will tap that. And that locks my heading. Now, you know, I can move the right joystick as much as I want. I can try and move the mouse as much as I want. But it's always going to be on that heading. And now I can just drive. We want to go... 22.1 kilometers. Tap right, tap uh, my... Or tap my right shift key again to unlock that... You know, heading, and I can control it manually going in. How do we know how far we've gone? Well, this is, you know, one of the situations, right? You know, we don't have a tool that tells us how far we've gone. 
The only way that we can do that right now is to turn the ship around 180 degrees and look back at the mining facility and see how far away it is. Is it somewhere around 22.1 kilometers? Look out the front. So we're just going to travel in this heading. We'll, we'll keep our eyes peeled. Let's go a little slower. We'll see what we can find, right? As we enjoy this vista. As we enjoy this vista. The fuck is wrong with you? I really enjoy flying like this. Nothing just but the views, you know. The, the vistas. How long 22.1 kilometers takes, I'm not entirely sure. But I'm hoping at some stage we'll see something pop up. Keep your eyes peeled. Let's quickly check our heading. Hey, we're off course. Kind of. We get a fairly wide view here. You're a brave man last night. Uh, a brave man that last Star Citizen stream. Yeah, it was brutal. I watched that Star Streams. It was absolutely, you know, I felt for you, man. You struggled through it. The game has been absolutely testing of late. I'm not seeing nothing. I expect it's going to be in like some sort of ravine or gully or something or... Get a bit more height. Not sure how far out it will render. We could have well passed over it. We've been traveling relatively straight. I haven't done many right adjustments with the stick. That's it, isn't a real struggle now. Rock money will always bring me back, though. Yeah. Yeah, we we, uh, we just need to see what's going to happen with the, the patch that's in the PTU at the moment. Hopefully that brings us some stability once they roll that out. All right. So I think what we need to do at this point, we just need to check our location. Okay, we're on a similar heading, 335, right? What did it want? 337. I don't know. Well, we're very, very close, you know. It's in this area. Let's turn 180 degrees. How far away is the station? 43.3 kilometers. We wanted to travel 22.1 from it. So we passed over it. We passed over it. All right. If we had a tool that had better distance, you know, you know like, a, like a trip timer in your car, right? So let's fly back. We'll jump back into the cockpit at the moment so we can see our displays. Do a quick distance check. Thirty-five. What was it? Twenty-two. Another ten K. So it's up here somewhere. Look out the front. Like I said before, you can get missions to come out to these locations and, you know, pick up a box or retrieve a package or investigate a body or stuff like that. Um, but you can also just come out here and find them. Apparently. I've never come back and found one. I've mapped a few and I've had the missions and stuff and I've posted them up on the Discord, you know, as I found them, and then I found that whole list, and I thought, thought, ah, stop it, you know. We'll just uh, we'll post that up, and then we'll go on a on an exploration mission, see what we can find. OK, 
Okay, let's get back in the cockpit. So we're 24, so we're still... It, they're, they're right, it's right here somewhere. It's right here somewhere. Is that it there? There it is! There we go. So that wasn't you know, that wasn't too painful. Go to the heading. You'll go to the station, fix on the heading, and just fly out. Stop at some stage, do a 180 degree turn back, and then fly back to your distance marker. And there we go. No need to having to fly backwards. It's a starfarer. It's a starfarer. Is it a starfarer? No, it's a caterpillar. Because those are definitely caterpillar modules. But, uh, you know, it looked a little bit like a Starfarer to me for a moment. Love the Starfarer. Oh, let's have a look around. Deploy landing gear. Deploying landing gear. Please stand by. Left wing. All right. Let's see what's out here. So I want to do a little bit of exploration, exploration <laughs> around these wreck sites and then also do some exploration of the various facilities and stuff because I've never maybe I have visited every location on the moons but you know oh, I, I can't have because I haven't visited every moon yet uh, even here on Lyria where there's heaps of places to go I haven't been to half of them I'm sure we did have one stream where we were at one of these locations and it was just absolutely trying Every time we'd lose a box, move a box, we'd lose it, and, um... Could you find it, then bedlog, and then come back and loot it again? Yeah, sure. People do do that. You know, there's... There are apparently places that are better for, you know, that sort of stuff. I know that Star Streams um, likes Bountiful Harvest over on Daymar. Um, but there's a few places that are apparently good like that. I'm not sure what they are. Hence the reason why we need to go exploring. And I can't, you know, I mentioned this last time we were in a wreck. I can't wait until there's more, you know, puzzles and stuff. <laughs> that, that, that was during the stream when we started talking about mist and stuff. I'm not really dressed for looting. You know, we're here for the exploration, really. And if we find something cool, then we can, then we can certainly try and uh, naff it and make off with it. I'm not even sure where, you know, you get used to the location of loot boxes and stuff where they spawn. I've got no idea where those locations are on these wrecks, which is kind of cool because, you know, we just, we get to explore. We get to have this slow look around. Doesn't look like I can get up a, a level, a level at all. You know, we get to look around and explore these wrecks properly. This one I've seen before, but there's a couple of different types on my... Or so I believe. Love Bountiful Harvest. Oh, that camera work is a bit janky. Is there a door there or no door? Hmm, I couldn't be sure. I remember last time we did one of these wrecks. Ooh. Okay. Interessant. Okay, we can't shoot it this close. That's going to be painful. We could try and duck down. We could try and avoid most of the blast. Okay, we gotta get this panel here. Oh no, it's above it. It's above. 
Hmm, okay. See, this I like now. Now there's a puzzle here. We can get up there, obviously. There wouldn't be a, you know, a, a tripwire there for no reason. Let's have a look around. All right. Can we get on top of this somehow? Now we're running like a madman. Now we've got shift key going now. I don't see another way in. Hmm. Oh, what's that up there? How are we supposed to get up there, though? It's open. It's open. Waiting for some tripwire bomb to go off. Well, I know if I try and shoot it that close, we'll have problems. Let me duck over to what YouTube is telling me. Stream health. Okay, stream health looks good. So we'll see how we go. As I mentioned, we are only at 1080p, which is fine, because that's what we've always been at. But when I tried to stream in 1440p or you know, get the 1440p encoder because it's better. We had issues, so we might stick with this. We'll do more tests later on and see how we go. All right, there's got to be a way to get up there. Inside the ship again. I remember I learned that you could open a lot of these doors because there'll be panels and stuff around. And we'll come back here. Let's go. We'll go explore the other sections. And see if we can find anything there. And then we'll come back to this puzzle. How do I get upstairs in this section <gasps> what's this what's this oh what's this about Oh, we got a blue box. Blue boxes, from what I understand, uh, have rubbish in them. Damps. Damps. Take those MREs. Right, so this is upstairs. How do we get across to that other section? That door doesn't open. Right. Let's open that up. Let me go back in here. Yep. Okay, nope. Just as lost as I was before. Don't think there's anything here. Next section, and we gotta think about how to get into the top of the pilot's area. Alright, I remember having to do that before now actually move that block but that's super cool more puzzle stuff like that please more puzzle stuff
need to get, um, well, actually, I was going to say I need to get locations for the wrecks in space, but, uh, that's kind of a bit difficult to do. And I think a lot of the wrecks in space are spawned there for your mission. Right, let's go check out some of the... <coughs> Damn dust. Uh, yeah, I've also been on the hunt for railguns. I found one the other day, actually. My first one in just a random bunker. I was just about to say, what mission are we here for? We're not. All the caterpillar wrecks seem to be like this one. They're just uh, chunks broken into sections and... scattered about. Obviously, it'd be super cool. I've had a couple of missions where there's been, uh, you know, a drug re retrieval mission in a Starfarer. And there's been a couple of NPCs there to fight. But it'll be super cool when we get a little bit more action on the ground. All right, this one looks completely closed up. Are there going to be any boxes laying around outside? Right, here we go. Ooh. The blue box down there. Another blue box. Can we use these? Does this door open? Okay. Am I missing something else here? Are we missing anything? I don't think so. Farmer, what's around this side? Another blue box. Maybe you need to bring a mule to crash sites so you can use the storage on it to stash loot. All you need then is a tractor beam thingy. It's true. But then I can't cruise around in my, you know, 300i. You know, dressed in my cool armor. Looking for rare artifacts to uh, sell at the markets, you know? <laughs> I'll have to be in some great big boat that can fit the mule inside it. And... No, no, this guy doesn't... I don't think that fits his persona. He's definitely one of those beamer owners that wash it every Saturday and shammy it twice. There it is. <laughs> Wonder if there is. I don't know if they if boxes would spawn in this rubbish and stuff. I know it would be a good spot, right? Because you'd have to, you know, look around and find it here, bounce around and stuff. Are we stuck inside stuff? Come on, we don't need this star citizen right now. Nothing, nothing. Apparently, apparently the Banu lock boxes are selling 
Selling for heaps, eh? Yeah, I saw um, a video from Board Gamer, I think, talking about that stuff. Sounds pretty crazy to me, man. A hype, you know. Without a proper hanger and stuff right now, I have zero interest in any of that sort of stuff. Well, zero interest outside, you know, looking around and seeing if I stumble across something and finding it. I certainly wouldn't be paying money for anything. Not that sort of loot, not hanger flare. Do you have a hanger flare that I own? But I haven't specifically bought any specific hanger flare. Okay, so we got a box here we can move. We got a box here we can move. What does that mean? Whoa. Okay. No worky. Can we just jump straight up here? Yeah. Okay. What do we got in here? More boxes we can move. Interessant. What's down here? Nothing! <laughs> uh, nothing's here. That's exactly what's here. Alright, what do we got up here? You're not giving me just a, a little so one boxer, Mr. Star Citizen? Huh? Alright, let's pop those while we're here. What is that? Is that a missile? No, it's a light. Is that a missile? Okay, so I think... I think we might need to take some of these things here. Okay, we can't move that, we can't move that. Okay, we can move this one. So I noticed there was a container around the side here, right? Oh, those ones I think we can get from the other side of the ship. How do I get up there, right? Hmm. I think we need more than that container. Man, I feel like I've done this. We've done this. I think I've done this wreck before, yeah. See, now we're on those Tim Tams. It's a, this is a terrible idea. I was going to say you are brave. Jumping around in that junk is bound to get you glitched. Yeah. Yeah, I kept on thinking that. Probably when you unlock it, might have an NFT in it or something, maybe. I don't think they're actually working props, at least anyway. It's just like a bit of flare. I don't think you can actually open those banner lock boxes and actually use them. Oh shit, maybe I needed to bring that thing in here to get back up and out. Shit. Nah, nah, that wouldn't happen. There's gotta be a way out. And it will be right past a row of three red loot boxes. Won't it? <laughs> Can't jump up there. Nope. Shit. All right, doesn't seem to be too much here. Um, I 
think I've got the layout now of all the pieces. One of them doesn't seem that we can go in. Although I'm a bit surprised that we can't jump up in... Climb up here. Let's put this away. There we go. There's that entrance at the back. Ooh, look at that. There's a red box. Better be something good in it. Just down here. Noir thing. How do we get to that box? Over there. Can we move it? Let's have a look. Oh. I thought it was a Nerf gun. This helmet's cool. Inquisitor arms in neon pink, hey? All right, those look cool. I wonder if we can move this a little bit. Damn it. Fuck. I saw that go into the ground. And uh, I was like, I've still got it, I've still got it. Then it came up out of the ground. And I had two thoughts. It's all right, man. Let go. It'll be fine. And the other one was like, don't do it. And I let go. There we go. We sacrificed that box to the, the earth gods. Wait. All right. The permafrost swallowed the box here. Yeah. We did this one right. Did we? Oh. Maybe we didn't. Oh boy, there's a dude here. Okay, looks like one red loot box. Where's the next place? Glad this one was in daylight too. <laughs> Hopefully they're all gonna be like that. That'll be amazing. Oh man, I knew I should have eaten those Tim Tams. I think I've just eaten like four. <laughs> Look out the front. 
All right, so this is the first wreck site, the Caterpillar wreck outside Shubin Cell 5 on a heading of 337, 22 kilometers over here on Lyria. Those arms would have been sick, Gresham. How are you? I hope you're keeping well. Welcome to the chat. I really wanted those arms. <laughs> I was thinking either take the arms out and I'll carry them or I can just bring the whole box. I was like, I'll just bring the whole box. The med gun might be useful too, but damn it. <laughs> so that's the first one. Where are we going now? So we, there's another one here on Lyria 2 um, at Sal 2. So this one's Sal 5. if there was like some bit all the way at the bottom of that hill lovely all right let's go sal 2 let's jump back in the cockpit get our moby glass open that was a caterpillar wreck. What is Sal 2? So here's Sal 5. So Sal 2 is not that far away, right? Yeah, this is... Okay, so we're quite close to the pit here. And Sal 2 is just over here. It's also a short jump away. Only 19 Ks. Alright, let's head off to this one. We're out of the atmosphere backwards. Get us the altitude we need to make our jump. All right. Another caterpillar. Does anyone know what it is? The one off of Shubin Cell 2. 271 degrees. Let's go. Yeah, those arms would have been sick. I'm quite keen to just to do a little bit of, you know, loot hopping, learning these locations. Like that one was Sal 5, right? On a 335 for about 20 Ks. Let me give or take 22 Ks. All right, so we want to go up here to Shubin uh, Mining Facility, Sal 2. And we're heading this time of 271. Look out the front. See what did you see that? Oh god, don't crash with. There was a little thing down here on the ground. It was probably just a stone or a rock or something. And I thought, you know, I can't wait to be flying over somewhere and a little house just pops up there. And uh, you know, player house maybe, NPC house, go down, say howdy, check it out, see what's there, see who's there. You know, get bits of information that you could add to, you know, whatever for quests or you know, information about more wrecks or points of interest, etc. Right, let's get back in the cockpit. Get back in the cockpit. We've lost our mark. Gotta be out here somewhere. Where? Gotta be close to us. Is that it there? Bow seven. What is going on? Are we over it? Oh boy. OM4. Are you kidding me? What the hell, man? <laughs> oh, Lyria. Bow two. Is that a root? It's got to be right here somewhere. They're pretty much under us. Okay. Alright, so this one we want to be... 
Uh, we don't need to refuel or anything, no, because I 30 k out last time and the ship is now fine. Uh, we want to go from here. 271. So, 271. Let's uh, go this way. Uh, would have been quicker to go the other way, Viv. Of course it would have. Alright. Out west. Alright, let's go. We got 20... 19.4 kilometers. Let's head out this way. Look out the front. We'll see what's out here. Hopefully we, we come across this one the first time. Hopefully we don't overshoot. Got to be up near these mountains or something, right? It's only 19 k's away. We've got a pretty reasonably wide view of the landscape. We can find this one. Is it in here? I don't want to veer off course too much. Is that it there? No, they're two rocks. Uh-oh. Have a quick look around here. <gasps> looky, looky. What is this? Another caterpillar. One, two, three, four, five sections. Five and some change. All right, let's see what we can find here. You can probably find 10 tons of quantanium rocks. It's true, exactly when I don't need it, that's when you find it all the time. We got landing gear down. We don't. Let's get some landing gear down. Let's, um, we'll set down at one of these tail ends. We'll set down just in here. Why not? see what we can find this time, eh? So both of the wrecks here on Lyria are... Of course, Commander. <laughs> oh, shit. Stop. Stop. I tray you trying to set a course to Lyria for me. Thank you very much. That was very kind of you. Oh, can we take these storage boxes? That'd be cool. You know... Give you another reason to come to these sites and so hopefully stack snag yourself a, a free storage box that'd be amazing Excuse me while I just nap about with my screenshots for a little bit. All right. Just take me a couple of seconds just to grab me a couple of nice shots, which I might then, at some stage, you know, be able to use in the future for things. Let's zoom this in even further just so we get his...
Then we're over this way a little bit. We'll get that head turned. We need to get that camera down a little bit. There we go. Print screen. Need oxygen. Who needs oxygen? We got plenty of oxygen. Oh, the flames, right, right, yeah. Yes, I'm sure it has been mentioned. I'm sure, you know, the, the fires that are burning here don't actually need oxygen because they're not a, a, a typical sort of fire. It's, it's a sci-fi fire. Right, let's get up here. We'll see what's up here. Can we get up underneath here? No! We fall down the mountain. All right, let's go this way. It's like some sort of landing gear or something in there. Let's have a look. Let's see how much oxygen it has here. It does have oxygen. O2? O2 is oxygen, right? It's got a lot of oxygen. But too much oxygen for us to breathe? Hey, wrong buttons. Back inside the beast. Right, this one looks like I didn't have to move a puzzle piece into place. Or... Somebody, nope. Somebody else has already moved this piece here. They have not. All right, so that other one was like a little puzzle thing. That was amazing. More puzzle things, please. <laughs> More puzzle things with loot, please. <laughs> Get more blue box loot. And end up with blue loot box syndrome. They don't give me some of those red boxes soon. The red box up out here somewhere. That'd be cool. Having to get all the way up outside onto the little balcony here to get a box. Or be able to see one clearly from up here. That'd be cool. All right, what else is down here? Mm, I don't like that shot there. Maybe if we laid up from the other side. Bella, we can't eat all of Mum's squirms, all right? She'll be so unhappy. I'll eat this one. Blah, 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 blah. This one's even worse. Trying to factor in that 300i there and figuring out how I can get it into the shot. Let's go. Next. Next uh, container. 
let us assail what is inside of the container. Maybe we go through the middle here and see if we're going to see any boxes. And if we're going to see a box, we'll check out what is inside of it, eh? Otherwise, we're going to go down here. See a water weekend or find it. It's an entrance, it is. I don't think I've been to this one before. The other one I remember the layout of and the pieces, but this one. This one is all new. Flickering means sometimes there's things you can open, right? Maybe they're not, sir. Maybe they're not. Loot box. Loot box. No loot box. Oh, cool, we can go through that little gap there. That's amazing. Does that help me? It doesn't help me. There's another loot box here. This is not a new, new wreck, Jason. This was been here for a long time. Well, I think they were introduced in 316. I could be wrong. Maybe they've been around for longer. I'm not really 100% sure. But it's a new wreck uh, for me so far the picking are not have been a very good eh We got a last one. I've been trying to keep an eye out for boxes on the ground, but there doesn't seem to be any around. Let's check out this. This is a big piece, right? This is two pieces connected together. Well, maybe we're going to climb up there. Play me some more music, please, uh, music people. Thank you so much. <gasps> Kill Boomer. Let's get down from here. We'll shoot this Kill Beamer from... Ooh. Bed log and try the same place again? No, that's going to break my immersion right now. Playing funny business like that. Come on, up we go. No, we'll just go around and we'll explore all these wrecks. This is the second one. Then we're going to move over to Walla shortly. And we're going to go check the two wrecks there. Yeah, I'm not really fussed if we find loot or not. It's not really what it's about. It's, it's not about the destination, Frank. It's about the journey. Can we jump over there? Oh god. Maybe not. There's a huge roof right in front of us. Oh. Yeah. I'll right, we'll sort that out in just a second. Okay, they're on the other side. How do I get around to the other side? Okay, okay. Oh, here we go. Alright, then we can go back. 
this way and go underneath the container. Nothing back here. Nothing back here. Come on. Come on. How many times have I heard this song tonight? Plummy. Some are different a song. A please, uh, song or machine. Nope. <clears throat> No, I was saying that's because it's new to you. Yes, that's right. Um, and s certainly any of the other wrecks I won't have visited. You know, where I was the list again. So any of the ones over at Hurston or Microtech or Crusader, I would have never been to. Simply because I've spent most of my time here in Art Corp. Acknowledged. No. Stop. Mm. Excuse me. I spent most of my time in Art Corp, so I haven't, uh, you know, come across the missions at the other locations yet. So we'll see maybe later on tonight as we, you know, get through our stream, we might get over to Microtech and be able to pick up some of the missions for some of the new outposts and stuff. All right, how... How the hell do we get out of here again? We came from up there somewhere. And then we're going to go down here, out through here. Climb up onto here. Is that a yellow box? What is this? Microid battle suit helmet. Let's take that. Thank you very much. Inquisitor arms in aqua. Pistols, pistols, pistols. A little bit of root. Vermilion apple. All right. At the risk of trying to move this box, let's see if we can take these arms. I want to grab them just to be sure until we can get out of here. All right, we found a, a yellow box. What is a yellow box? Okay. Uh, am I not going to be able to climb while I'm holding a box, hey? That'd make a lot of sense. Um, okay. way Found 
definitely need to add more songs to that playlist. I was like, there's hundreds of songs in this playlist. And I just had a look and there's 38 songs in that playlist. Um, I'm not sure if we can jump across there, but I think we've got to be able to get across there somehow. Man. Hold R to rotate. Use the mouse to spin it around. Does that look hella dodgy? It looks hella dodgy to me. Stop it. We're going. Uh, look, light. We made it. It's this place. Oh. Oh, I see. We're going to jump into here. Oh, no. 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 We're in. We're in. There doesn't seem to be too much in here. Okay, let's leave this here. <gasps> A red box. There doesn't seem to be too much in here. <gasps> A red box. All right, so we found one. Red Ruboxuru. Oh, what's in it? Yellow is best uh, sometimes subscriber gear. Okay. Oh, look at this. Lime green one. Look at this helmet. Um, okay. I see what happened here. We might need to move a few things around. I don't think I can fit another helmet, hey? I don't, I'm not. Man, these are all cool helmets, man. What have I got on? I've got an, a Nabu helmet on. If we stick this in this box and quickly take this, can we just swap them over? It's like got some sort of neon or something on it. What the business town? Okay. There's a small chance we might die trying this. I think we got 40 seconds or so. Let's get rid of this helmet. Oh shit, I can't see the box now. 28 seconds, 26 seconds, 25. Helmet on. Lights. Oh, what the business? Nah, that's sick. Alright, we'll see it once we get out into the light properly. Um, Alright, so that's our old helmet. Anything else in this box we want? And we'll go outside and do a, a helmet review. Maybe a green one of these. A second green one of these. And some ammo. Thank you so much. Lovely. Right. And then we had some arms that were up there, right? Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, that was cool. We got a bunch of nice helmets. Alright, I think that's it. I think we've fully explored this wreck. How do we get out? Let's pick up this thing. We get out through here. Bam! Let's just reset this back to where it should be. We've been napping about with screenshots and whatnot. There's the ship up there. Is there anything down here? Oh, there's another compartment. All right, let's have a look at this helmet. Let's turn that off. <laughs> oh. 
That's cool. And dare I suggest empty your backpack into the ship and then keep exploring? Pretty good idea. It's probably a good idea. Is that my box over there? It is. We can try some of these other helmets too. We can get in the ship. And try some of the other helmets. I want to see the bug-eyed one. love how easily these packages slide in the snow. It's amazing. Sometimes you do have to chase them down hills and stuff though, but you know. Go back to the old YouTube in a second and see what it's saying. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's unnecessary. Nope. Here we go. All right. Into the ship. All right. Let's put that away. How did low helmet cobalt? All right. It's got a cool, cool mohawk on it with. Glow in the dark sort of effects on it. Stick that in the ship. The microid battle suit helmet. Oh, it's like sand people. Okay, I like it. I like it. The Void Ripper. Look at that. Look at those lips, it's full kiss sort of makeup. This thing's cool. Alright, alright, I see. Oh, these are both the same colour. I thought one was orange and one was green. But they're both the same. <laughs> oh no, here's an orange one here. I'm see on. Alright, let's stick all this in the ship. We don't need anything on us. Take the gun off too. We've got a pistol just in case something happens. Um. Oh, okay. We're getting out. Yeah, I like this helmet, man. All right, sweet. Um, I think we're gonna get all the way back to the last carriage, the last block. All right, both of these wrecks here, one of them new for me, this one on Lyria, explored in the daylight. Awesome. That doesn't happen very often. Especially when you're trying to film something or you're streaming and you're like, I want to go to this location and you get there and it's pitch black. Thanks. Star Citizen, thank you. Okay, there's an open door up there, which means that it must be some way in. Let's slow down a little bit. Do we go up behind here? No. <gasps> am I up there? I am. There's a blue box.
Oh, can we move that box? Okay, no, there's the door up here. Alright. No more lootses. Alright, we need something to drink us, which we just put in the ship. Let's go back there. Alright, couple of cool helmets. Yeah, I think a, a, a different size backpack might have been more appropriate for looting. But he just looks cool, this guy. Especially with this helmet now, it's amazing. Oh, we're stuck on the mountain! smirked. I didn't want to say anything, but yes, that backpack is tiny. Looks like fashion accessory. It is! That's that's pretty much what it is. For this dude. For this character here. It's just, just a, a token bag to, you know, chuck some, you know, snack bars and a cruise into or something. And, you know, if we find any really good pieces, then we can take those, you know? We're not going to be too worried about, you know, mass looting of, you know, peasant rubbish. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, have ourselves a nice tasted drink. Restore ourselves to a uh, full of hydration. Let's see if we can drink. Ooh, he's got a bottle out. Can we look at it? Can we drink it? We can. I still think Star's choice of pink, purple, and green armor the other day contributed massively to his issues that day. Uh, but yeah, possibly. Although you know, it's nice to uh, it's nice to have a you know a, a a fashion sense, right? Let's get a collection of bottles going. Okay, maybe we won't. Okay, good. That's good to see. That w um, yeah. Let's not be too concerned about that. Um, okay, fair enough. <laughs> Uh, at least I know if I put bottles in that corner of my room, it's going to be... We did lose one helmet. We traded a helmet for three other helmets. That's all right. That's a good trade. Traded a stock helmet for three, you know, unviable helmets. Subscriber sort of stuff. Hey. <laughs> yes, maybe one day we'll be able to get to use our fancy kitchens and stuff. All right, let's pitch up a little bit. Let's get out into space. Uh, let's get some crews happening. Let's uh, look up our next destination. Yeah. All right, where are we going? We're at Court. We've done the two on Lyria. Let's head over to Walla. Mining site 45 and mining site 48. All right, let's get up in here. We're going to go across to Walla. <gasps> YouTube complaining. No, it says the stream health is excellent. OBS is telling me it skipped a few frames. A fair few frames. Frames missed due to rendering lag. Skipped frames due to encoding lag. Currently sitting at 6.6% and 5.6% respectively. We've been dropping 5% of our frames. Oh man, I must have figured out how my computer can make a bit of stream. Alright, we're going over to Walla. 45. Uh, what was it? Forty-five and forty-eight. All right. We're both quite close to each, each other. 
I think these two at this point in time are going to be in the darkness. Yeah, they're on this side of Wallet at the moment. All right, it's going to be night time there. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Let's go. Activate the quantum drive. Certainly, Commander. QD oh, it was activated. already activated. Engage! <laughs> he didn't like that. Send us there. Engage. Hold fast, sir. Engaging quantum drive. I wear light green all the time. <laughs> it gives me best why I suck. Maybe that's why I suck. I don't know. I think light green is a nice color. I could I could definitely get down with that. My redeemer has a full fridge of goodies, but I can't munch them. I've not noticed any max headroom type frame drops. Well, it's a fraction out of, you know, the hundreds of thousands that have been sent already, right? There's more RAM for me. 32 gigs, hey? My actual gameplay experience is fine, uh, but I get the odd client crash from time to time. Other than that, I cannot complain about my FPS. That's good. I don't really complain either. I can't really notice when people are saying, oh man, the frames, of, you know, the frames. And I'm like, it looks fine to me, dude. <laughs> Maybe I'm just so used to playing, you know, games with really bad frame rates that uh, I'm just used to that. <laughs> All right, at least YouTube doesn't have a problem. So we're going to, this is going to be a nighttime uh, situation. It would seem a nighttime exploration. I wonder if they're both going to be caterpillars. Maybe all the wrecks are caterpillars. I swear I've been in some star fairies before. There's a somebody here. We're going to say howdy on the louder speaker. You can use MSI afterburner overlay to keep an eye on it. All right, so where are we going? This is uh, uh, area 45. Once we get over the facility, we want to head 174. Wish we could have a better way of navigating to these things than this bloody quantum drive. Deactivate the quantum drive. Understood, Commander. I have right, accessed so the quantum drive and disconnected the system. There's a caterpillar here. Maybe that's the one that we're going to go find in a minute. Because, you know, you've got a wreck. To... Alright, we want to go... 174. Hundred and seventy four the thirty three point three kilometers. All right, let's let's engage this. Let's look out the front. Look out the front. All right, let's not get too high. Maybe we'll be able to see some flames or something. Back in the cockpit. Damn, I'm feeling wrecked. I'm going to have to catch the rest of this stream tomorrow when I wake up. Good hunting, Viv, and good to see you both, Meta and Jason. Hi, Hearn. Thank you so much for tuning in, man. I hope you feel better soon. Get some rest, buddy. 
and we'll catch up with you next time. Look out the front. Look out the front. Look out the front. Okay, it's pretty dark. And obviously we can't see any pings or anything in this view. Get back in the cockpit. We're a couple of thousand feet up. Oh, and we pitched up quite far. Plenty of room in front of us. Gonna be out here somewhere. Maybe up in these mountains over here. Surely we've got to be able to see it. Alright, we might need to just slow down and turn around and look for the facility behind us. But we'll turn that on. We'll turn 180. Okay, that's 115. That's 45. How, how fast? 61? 45. Yep. Okay, so we wanted to be 33 kilometers from this. We've overshot by a massive way. Now let's scoot back. How do we ever shoot by such a long way? Double the distance. Alright, 40, 41. What are we at? We want 33. Alright, it's going to be around here somewhere. Look out the front. Thirty-three. Let's turn back around to one seven four. Who's this coming up on our tail? <gasps> there it is. This is why you shouldn't have spoken about how luckily you were lucky you were in the light with the others. <laughs> yeah, true. Well, then now we get to experience you know one at night time. Oh, maybe. Going oh, very fast. Now oh, that ship might be over. That might be the caterpillar that we saw before. this wreck supposed to have been here for I think these are supposed to be a kind of like recent ones all right deploy landing gear yes commander landing gear is being deployed it doesn't really like that view does it This will be fun and a nighttime one. We got a helmet on. Yeep. We got a silly sized backpack on. Yeep. Let's go. Torches. Oh, it's dark, isn't it? 
Now, apparently there's a website, well, not apparently, there is a website called verseguide.com, which you can use to find out, you know, when sunset and sunrise and all that sort of stuff is in different locations. Now, these aren't loot boxes, you rude, rude star citizen. Can we get through here on our tummy? What's that? Is it X or Z? No, no, not that one. Not C. Is it X? I know you can get on your grip. Yeah, there we go. Nothing here so far. What's in... Nothing hiding around there. Well, not having a mush or look with this and one so far. Door works. Oh, this goes outside. Oi, Jesus. What? What? What the hell? Um, okay. This is, um, mildly interesting. Why am I EVAing? Stop. Um, okay. I've lost control of, um, everything. I'm just being thrusted against the planet's surface. Am I inside the planet? Maybe. I think maybe I'm inside the planet. Um, does this look like being inside the planet? Why do I not have any control? I can't thrust around or anything. Oh, bomber. We keep floating around every now and then. Um, inventory. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're amazing, Star Citizen. You're amazing. All right, so did we go upstairs? The door out. Yeah. Oh, maybe we can get down into that door there. Oh, ho, ho. nothing in the pilot seat. Is that a box back there? No. Oh, that was a nice recovery. I have no idea what was going on just then. But obviously we hit a patch of... You know, <laughs> no atmosphere. That's a normal now, weird. Yeah, yeah, super weird. Catch a bug, yep. Now 
All right, so so far this... Oh, no, I was going to say it's got a similar layout to the first one, but it doesn't. Why does this gun have no bullets? That doesn't make anyone feel happy at all. Especially given there's magazines for these up in the ship. Damn it. This is apt music. It is. I love it. It's, you know, adventure music. It's, it's it's adventure movie, you know, music. Hey, what the... I want to get in the ship, please. Come on. You can't let me in the ship. And we're going to get in there. We're going to roast it up. We're going to have ourselves a good time. What? Don't I exist? Why can I not get inside the ship? Get on the ladder! No! Uh, okay, we seem to have some sort of issue here. A ship for you. Enter the ship. Uh oh. Um. Let's try and put this down. What? What is that? Inquisitor Arms Aqua? to the ship no we might have lost all the helmets grab I can't pick that up I don't exist I don't think I exist um I, I don't exist. No looter box at any here. Um, okay. Interessant. I can't. I like how Walla has an inventory. Um, climb onto the ladder. Oh man, you're a ghost of your former self, an existential crisis. That's right. That uh, that box is uh, inside the ship, isn't it? It was inside the ship. And somehow it's glitched through the floor. There we go. I can't do anything with those. Right. We are stuck at this wreck. We could... We could try and trek back to that outpost. It's 30 k's away. That's a, that's a fair trek. Weirdness. No, I don't, I don't think it's a 30k. Um, I think something happened to me when I glitched into the floor before. Can 
Can I administer this to myself? I can. Okay. Um, oh, Charlotte, sweetheart, it's time to go to bed. It's 11 o'clock, darling. <laughs> oh, boy. Man, time's just disappeared. Yeah, two hours I've been streaming for. Holy crap. All right, I'll be back in a minute. i got to get this bear in bed. Wow. Good parenting, Viv. <laughs> You've been star citizen. Please pay on your way out. <laughs> I thought I paid to get in. You also pay to go out. All right, this little bear's off to bed. Good night. I'll come up and take you. See you on Monday. Yeah, see you on Monday. See you on Monday. It's three days a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, Saturdays. See you on Monday. Wednesday. I'll be back in a minute.
Oh, that synth music was a bit of a change, hey? Right. What is the situation, hey? Hmm. We has a dilemma. All right, let's go and explore these last couple of containers. And then we shall determine what to do. We, we will continue to try. We're just going to go down and see what is in these containers down here. Or in these sections down here. Because we haven't finished exploring the wreck. We, we want that ship. It's not as simple as just abandoning it now. It's got helmets in it that we want. We're going to have to... What the... Fuck, I got no gun, no bullets. What are you just doing here? Who the hell are you? pinch his armor if we wanted to. I think it, that was just some sort of NPC character. Um, in the backpack. I don't use the tractor beam. It just puts it away. In the locky. Oh man, yeah, something's gone weird. How do we get up there? Something has definitely gone weird. Um What do we do now, Mr. Sar Citizen? This is where, you know, things in the future will get interesting, right? When you can't just, you know, log off whenever you want to. Or if you log off wherever you want to, you just log back into the same place. Like, right now, there's very little risk for me, right? I could just log off and I'll just log back up where I woke up, you know, went to sleep or landed last, sorry. And uh, lose the cargo, that's about it. Um... But if I'm going to forever be stuck here, right, either having to get a lift from someone or putting out a beacon or, you know, trekking the 30 kilometers back to the station, I can't wait for that sort of stuff where you actually have that element of risk. Okay, there's another level up there. Given we cannot... Can I fire this pistol? I can't. Um, I have been Star Citizen. All right, let's go back and try the ship one more time. Given that I can't interact with any of the weapons, I think I need to, can I sit down? Is there a seat somewhere? I need something I can engage with, a chair. Oh, there's a pilot seat. Let's go get in the pilot seat. I think we need to trigger an animation. Like an interact animation. Is the, uh, the pilot seat was up here this way, right? Oh, it sits up there, yeah? Yeah. I think we jumped down into it. Or a 
if there's a chair in here. We'll give that a shot. I think when I fell through the planet or clipped through or whatever happened before, um, has, uh, is it X? Yeah. Has screwed up my animations. Okay, this is not engaging any animation sort of stuff. Um, we need, we need to get up a level. How did we do that before, eh? Why are we moving so quick? I'm sure the people who've done this before are like, I can't help it. This way. Nope, we gotta lay down. No, it must be outside the ship. here. I think you can get missions to come and search for people's remains and stuff at these locations and all different sorts of stuff. How the hell, <clears throat> how the hell did we get up there before? Oh, there's, here we go. This way! Fooey. Are there beds here? There's beds downstairs, right? I wonder if they'll actually work. I doubt it. Damn. No. Because this sometimes happens to me when I recover from a 30k that I, gl uh, you know, glitch through parts of the ship and then it becomes very difficult to interact with anything until I you know, can sit down in the pilot's chair or climb into one of the beds. Ah, oh, man, that's annoying, eh? Are there any other chairs that I have seen? Damn it. We can recover from this. We can recover from this. There's, there's going to be a way. There's going to be a way. No. Okay. We still can't get anything out. I wonder. I wonder. If... If I stand in the cargo bay here, will I have atmosphere? Will it consider me inside the ship? If that's the case... Let's see what happens. We'll take our helmet off. Helmet's, helmet's off and we're dying. Get back! In first person mode. Yep. We're dying. 
Right, let's put a helmet back on. I was thinking maybe we could get in there and strip off. Put the helmet back on, dude. What are you doing? Where the hell did the hel helmet go? We lose a helmet. <laughs> what? Yes, we have. Tonight will be the last night, so tomorrow, and we'll have to go to the next day. Alright, in case we have. Alright, then. Um, I have no idea what happened just then. Unless the helmet that I put on wasn't able to protect me, but. I got a feeling I was way more glitched out. Um, now let's get out of here. Ah, dead in the cargo bay of my 300i. Yeah, maybe that helmet didn't have any atmospheric. You know, maybe it wasn't a you know a zero G helmet. Who knows? <laughs> but there we go. This is you know, this is a true exploration here. The people die on these long journeys of discovery. We're along. Oh, no, we're not that far away. We're still down at Walla, that's right. Time for a relog? No, no, I think we just need to wake up in hospital and we'll be fine. I don't think there's anything wrong with this server. Well, obviously, there's, some, there's, there's things wrong with the server. But that specific issue, you know, I'll be fine now. Um, I just needed to be able to interact with something that changes my animated state. Sitting, standing, lying down, that sort of stuff. Um, because for whatever reason, my character had become out of phase with, you know, desynced, I guess you could say, from the rest of the game. But when that's happened to me in the past, I've been able to recover by being able to sit in a chair or lie in a bed, something that, and it's mentioned on the Spectrum forums also as a, you know, cure for a bunch of other sort of issues. Like the arm syndrome in the pilot's chair, I'm sure everyone's had that. You know, that can be fixed sometimes by triggering a different animated state or a different animation. Drinking, eating, lying down, sitting. Sometimes it's worked for me, sometimes it hasn't. Alright, so... Now, you know... Poor Joe Gown here is, uh... What are we doing down there? Let's just fix up that default. Why is that like that? Weirdness. Fine logic to Star Citizen. <laughs> Look, well, you know, it's good to be, it's good to be ready, right? My, my grind is over now. I can't, I can't just keep grinding for ships. I've got to find more things that interest me. Hence the reason we're exploring. I do want to explore every single place. I want to put together a little checklist. You know, d did you find this there? Did you find this there? And, you know, go on my own journey of discovery. Yes, I could read about it all on, you know, where are the four best places to go, etc., etc. But, uh, you know, I want to, I'm at that point now where I've ran every mission so many times that, uh, you know, the next part of discovery for me is actual discovery. Should we go there in a medical gown? Probably not a good idea. Made 1.4 mil last night off of, a stuff, uh, off of stuff I mined. Amazing. Nice work. That's amazing. Gotta love a good turn in. When you bring all your quant down to the, the trade terminals to sell. I moved 530 the other day. Not, <laughs> not kind of close to your 1.4. That's nice work. Uh, Meta says, hey, Bob, enjoying your adventures. 
Well, you know, there's lots of exciting things for the game coming. Oh man, yeah, I don't have a local inventory. I did want to go back for that ship. Took a couple of steps. Okay, let's get on. Does look like he's just busted out of hospital, doesn't he? Oh boy. I reckon he could roll those eyes up a little bit further, I reckon. Uh, oh, clearly just been uh, done out from the hospital. Lots of quant from the belt. I don't think I've even been out there in this patch. I'm sure in the PTU, definitely. But, uh... Alright, let's see. Can I access my inventory? Come on, Area 18. You can do it. There's a lot of stuff in there. You can load it. Give you a little bit of time. We've got time. We're on the train. It's a no-go. It's a no-go. Gonna lose the rest of those helmets. Let's get off the train. All right, let's try again. Let's see what we get. Is it going to work? Is it going to work? Don't feel bad. I died last night going into a bunker. Log. Then take a different ship out there to get them back. Well, there's you know no chance that I'm going to log back onto the same server, right? Got to let the baddies spawn. Had on and off results. I want to get back into the PTU. I logged in the other day. I want to test a bunch of these fixes for the uh, bunkers. And uh, I logged in the other day, but I didn't have access to all my pledge ships. So I tried to reset my character account, waited for that to happen. That didn't bring my ships over. So I've copied over my account the other day across to the PTU. So hopefully that should be working. Um, I have access to all my pledge ships, so I can go and test some of these bunkers. Uh, will that matter? Yes, because this ship exists on this server. This is what server meshing is all about, right? And PEZ, Persistent Entity Streaming, um, is right now, everything that's happening on this server is happening on this server. That ship isn't being replicated out to other servers. So when I log out from here, and I log back in, I could log back into a different server. And that ship from this server isn't replicated right now across to this server, which is what pairs and server meshing and stuff is all about. That's, you know, that is creating the replication layer in between the client and, you know, their virtual environment here, what they call, um, um, I can't remember. sequenced servers or something like that. I can't quite remember. So. I have uh, like 10 toy guns now. Somebody gave me one the other day. I'm still uh, trying to find more of them to, uh, you know, finish my collection. I'm pretty sure we're just going to end up uh, with this massive inventory issue here. I think the only way we're going to be able to fix this. That guy's obviously clearly desynced quite badly. It's too lock off. And log back on. Alright. That's alright. 
We had some nice helmets for a very brief period of time. That crazy domain spruker beanie works well with your spiel. It doesn't say crazy domains on it. What are you talking about? All right, let's jump back in. There's a few people online, hey? Lord Skippy and Dutchman. There are these guys over at the garden of the Space Tomato. Maybe something's happening at the garden. While we log back in. I'm just going to quickly check Discord. Just go and get another set of armor and undersuit. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, we got, I got loads of that sort of stuff. It's just disappointing. Uh, we lost, uh, and the new helmets. Oh, right, right. <laughs> in the domain in Sydney, you get spruikers standing on milk trake. Milk, milk crates, etc. Spieling. Well, we've switched over, right? From the fedora to the beanie. That's all right. We will get back up there. Right, so that was mining area 45. Um, oh, rats and fooey. Rats and fooey. You know what we need to do? Let's, um, let's get back in. We need to open this up. Bear with me for a second. We need to change that to 17. <laughs> All right, there goes the death counter. We must pay attention to that. We had options then, so that, that death sort of counts. I could, could have put a shout out, hey, I need some help. Someone come and pick me up, you know. We, there's things we could have tried, but we didn't. I like this white undersuit here. Put on the undersuit, man. Come on, you can do it. Okay, we take it off and put this. Oh, I like that undersuit. Nah, nah, nah. What's, what sort of style should we go for? Something clean. Something, um, you know, a bit more rebellious. Something a little bit more, you know, us the sort of gang sort of look. Hard bounty hunter. Keep in mind, we've got to finish exploring the rest of the wrecks. I have one of those undersuits that looks biffy. It does look cool, doesn't it? But I lost my rocking yellow and purple one yesterday. Ah, oh, no. Yeah, I love finding a good undersuit. Found. Did I manage to get it in? Maybe I didn't store it here. Maybe I stored it up at Everest. It was kind of like these blue ones down here, but it was red. Like these ones. But it was red. I think you can just buy these. These might be, might be default. I'm not 100% sure. these pants that they fit around the waist <laughs> they're obviously modeled for a for a larger model a larger character Artemex set is really nice so apparently you get these when you finish let's get out of here for a second we'll come back to this apparently 
you can do missions, courier missions, right? To get those boss level sets of Artemis armor. And sometimes, you know, I see this mission pop up. Apparently you get it from a guy in a bunker. And then you've got to knock them out and steal their armor and stuff. And so I get a mission that's $45,000 from uh, Kovalax down here in Art Corp. That leads to a bunker. The last two times I've been in, I've been keeping an eye out. Are the guards that spawn there? Like, apparently a special one spawns there on this mission. And you can loot his armor. I think you get a crime stat, but you've got to, you've got to deal with that. Right, right, right. Something exploratory. We want something that's light. Get some, let's get some of these arms on. I like the pad ones. I do like this helmet, it's nice and simple. And pants, I like. They fit nicely. What else? No, we chest and arms. No, we got arms on. Stitches, no. Do we take a looting backpack or a proper size backpack? Like a looting one or like a little dress one? I like the dress one, it fits the character, right? Right, some sort of chest piece. Oh, I do like this blue Arden SL core. All right, he's looking a little bit hodgepodgey, which is kind of nice. I like the, you know, it's he's, he's just upgrading his armor where he can, when he can. Let's give him a paramed gun and a multi-tool. Let's grab a couple of med pens. We need a pistol. I think you always have to have a pistol just for, you know, character's sake. Yep, yeah, this one will do. Just for when you need those extra shots. Right. Not convinced by the arms, but I do like the hab sort of, hab, you know, slap together style. All right, let's grab a little backpack. We go on a little backpack. I think you can get the blue Arden SL core backpack here too. I've got a bunch of the, is it the Arch is it Archangel backpack, the black one? Yeah, Archangel. <gasps> Look at this little sensor on his shoulder. It's very Mandalorian. Well, it reminds me of Mandalorian. I have no idea if it if, if that is actually a Mandalorian thing. Um, all right, I've really been enjoying the P4. Let's take this one here, the Night Stalker. We need to chuck some stuff on it. Uh, weapons. It's silence two, right? Barrel two. Yeah, which is the, this thin one. And then uh, some sort of sight. I like the Delta one times reflex. Couple of ammos, and we're done. This guy, Alberto Christopher Marwin, Marwin. Marwin Streets, Marwin Lane, Marwin Lane. Yeah, all right, this guy, Marwin Lane. All right, so he's, he's you know, just a, a, a regular middle-aged, you know, UEE 
you know, retiree, never really made it very far in the ranks, was always a bit of a grunt. And now, you know, he's, you know, just drifting across the verse, doing odd jobs and stuff where he can. Let's see if we can get a job for a wreck. Let's do one thing first. Mercenary, call to arms. Because, you know, Marwin will take any opportunity he can to earn that extra 500 credits. Easy work. You know. That coffee is way better now that it's colder. Now he's just drifting around doing odd jobs. Deliveries. Just regular route deliveries, right? Search. All right, we got to collect some zetaprolonide. Investigation. Okay, investigate wreckage claim. Search for missing crew. Missing persons case. Okay. I like this missing persons case. 18 grand. Family of Khalil Lamont is hoping to find some closure. While there is confirmation that the caterpillar, Callaware, serving aboard did not survive its journey. The family wants to know for sure what happened. Looking for someone with tact and discretion to investigate the ship's remains and see if they can learn Khalil's fate. Yeah, let's do it. All right, sweet. Where are we going? This will be, maybe this will be the one on Walla. Maybe this will be the last one we haven't been to. I have a nice gray, uh, I have a nice gold gray cat backpack, but I'm afraid to wear it. Because I know if I do, and I take my railgun out, I get Star Citizen. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I've certainly got suits of armor that I don't wear. Things that I don't wear. You know, I'll put on every now and then if I'm walking around somewhere. But, you know, I never take them anywhere because I'm just, you know... <laughs> It'd be nice when we don't have to worry about that. Where we can have faith that, you know, the things that we do in the game are going to be... You know, we can do those things because, you know, the game doesn't constantly crash. All right, let's track this. Where are we off to? Locate Chief Engineer, Alil Lamont. Is that Walla? It's at Walla. Okay, so at Walla there's 45 and 48, right? Okay, this one seems to be in the middle of nowhere. Um, yeah, 45 and 48. So here's 45. Okay, so here's 45. There's a wreck here somewhere. The one that we were just at. 33, kilo uh, 33 kilometers. Then there's one here. That's 25 kilometers. But this one is in the middle of nowhere. So is this a spawned one? For my mission? Or is this one that exists that's not on the list? We're going to have to do a little bit of in-atmosphere flying to get to this. Because there's nothing close. All right, we gotta get in the ship. All right, sweet, sweet. This is interesting. This wreck is in the middle of nowhere. We all kitted out now, hodgepodge. Marwin's in a hurry. He wants to get there for this one. Slow down, young man. You're gonna get injured. One thing I always do when I get back from Ariel and Aberdeen is take my Pembroke suit off and store it and get about in a standard white suit and helmet when I'm in the hangar. Yeah, they're expensive suits, those are. Yeah, because the suit in the backpack are worth uh, three, can three grand. Yeah, yeah, they're, 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 not, they're not cheap. I never, I never wear one. Never wear one. But then again, I don't really go to Aberdeen. And if I'm on, you can survive on aerial without a Pembroke suit. City 
Gresham is down. Want to come rescue me? What have you done? Nope, I cannot come rescue you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, we'll see how we go with this one. Killed by fire. What spawned? This wreck for me, is that what you're talking about, Humble Monk? This wreck in the middle of nowhere on Walla is spawned for my mission. It's not normally always there. We can't add it to the list of places to fly to in the middle of absolutely nowhere. And we'll come here and we'll fly all the way around and over. Oh, I installed, uh, installed, I installed Kerbal Space Program last night. I was watching uh, Space Tomato on YouTube. He was playing some Kerbal Space Program and I watched his stream the other night. And so I thought, oh, I really need another game that I can play. I've been looking through my Steam library. There's a couple of games that I've bought that I want Charlotte and I to play together, but I need to sort out the green screen on her side properly. I need to, I want to set them up uh, from hanging from the roof with little motors that wind them up so we, Charlotte can drop hers down if she needs to. I can drop mine down if we need to. If we don't need them up, uh, down, we can put them up. Um, it's nice to see people in civilian clothing, by the way. Um... And that way we can just roll them up out of the way and the rest of the games room here with access to, you know, the board games and the gaming table and, you know, all my miniatures and stuff. You know, the rest of the room, right, is easily accessible and visible. Maybe I'll set up some LEDs on the miniatures and the shelves of miniatures behind me. Oh, that'll be absolutely terrible. All right, let's go. Let's go. I'm tired of this. We're in. We're in shift mode. Pinky shift. All right, this is we'll call pinky shift. You know the regular game speed, right? <laughs> yeah, it's born for the mission. Yeah, cool, cool. Um, all right, what should we take there? What should we take there? And whilst we are in the process of doing things, we might as well claim this ship back. So yes, once we have Pez and all that sort of stuff, that ship should be there and I'd, I'd be able to go back. It doesn't matter, you know, where I logged in, so to speak, because, you know, I'm, I'm, we're no longer on a specific server or a specific instance of the, of the game. All the entities have been streamed out through that replication layer. So that when I come back in somewhere, you know, the information is retrieved from that replicated layer, from that replication layer. Also, my cool helmet DX. Yep, we only have these things for a short period of time, don't we? <laughs> One or two missions and that's about it. Mostly, they are claimed because of, you know, server problems or disconnects or 30Ks or crash of desktops. And, you know, once we don't have to worry about that anymore, that's years away, um, those will be good days. But if you find a cool helmet or anything, take it back somewhere safe. Pronto. Well, I wanted to get those three helmets back, but, uh, you know, who knows what the hell happened then? EVAing into the ground. Um, all right. Do we want to take that? Do we want to take a 100i? Do we want to take something smaller? Do we want to take something fun? Pisces? This one is free. These two must remain at Bezdeck and can never be summoned. Except at Bezdeck. This is up at Eberus. 
I don't know. Let's just take the 300 eye. Thank you for Vehicle selected. Stand by. Whatever your transaction, we wish your vehicle oh, yeah. has been delivered to the following location. This is why I'm in such a big hangar. <laughs> Give me just a second. I totally forgot I was. Oh! Wanted to check Discord. Oh, and I managed to find a setting in the game so that when I Alt Tab out of it, the the game audio continues to play. Previously, if I Alt Tabbed out of the game, um, you know the uh, the the game audio would stop playing. Okay. Thought there was something that I was missing and that I was should have been doing. All right, hangar eleven, let's go. All right, so th this is another caterpillar wreck, right? Caterpillar, yeah. Ridiculous. When you get all the way back here, you suddenly realize how big some of these hangars are. Ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, let's go. This will be fun. Well, we'll see what's going to happen there, right? You know, we've got some sort of mission. Maybe we'll find some loot too. And get paid 18 grand for our little mission. So we'll see. You know, I've really been enjoying the last couple of nights just doing... Let's turn those engines back on. Let's request some uh, clearance. Just logging on and, you know, doing one of each different type of mission. You know, doing a bunker and then doing a delivery mission and then doing a very low risk bounty. Um, and, you know, just enjoying each of the missions for really what they are. Because I've had, like everybody else in this patch, a hell of a time rock mining. You spend hours and hours and hours and then just lose it all. Um, quant mining. It's just been, everything's been difficult. Elevators. Being able to just, you know, rinse and repeat bounties. You know, mercenary missions. Bounties really, you know, airborne bounties really seem to be the only thing that's stable at the moment. Because there's no investment, right? A free flight suit that you get when you die and off you go. Whereas all the other game loops at the moment require some sort of investment. Mostly that's time, right? You lose the time. Yes, you can go mining in a beacon suit if you want to. But you lose the time. With bounties take five minutes, right? And you get paid 12 grand or whatever it is. They're over quickly. Whereas when you're investing money into other stuff, or investing time, I should say, it's uh, frustrating when you lose it. So I've just been, you know, spending my time having like little mini adventures. You know, waking up in the morning and then going, okay, you know, I'll start the day with a, you know, a box run. Then I'll go fight someone. 
I, I wanted to do a cave the other day. I'm quite keen to go explore some caves. You know, just wander around for a couple of hours and you know, take a, a big backpack with me, put on some heavy armor, take a Novikov backpack, mining tool, food, water, some couple of oxygen pens. Just in case. And you know, go adventuring. Although I think a lot of the Caves are on Hurston, which has a breathable, atmos a breathable atmosphere. Combat beacons are good when they come along. And monitor missions are also easy. I stick to low and moderate beacons, because I don't have the firepower to take on bigger ships like caterpillars. You know, they can be brutal, man, some of those fights. And you know, a moderate fight, you know, in one, <laughs> in one place, you know, might be a very simple Aurora. Whereas next time you do one, it could be, you know, <laughs> two two hammerheads and a and a phoenix. Uh, all right, let's get down here. So what we can do is we'll jump down to the surface. We'll set our pitch attitude, or we'll set our flight attitude, our pitch and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, picking up one of these every now and then when they popped up, and then going, okay, that was great fun. You know, now I head home. And if it crashed partway through one of the missions, it didn't really matter because I'd already done one mission before that and that paid me 12 grand or 15 grand or 20 grand or 8 grand or whatever it was. I did one the other night, that was 2,950. Actually, that was on the stream, the, the, the deploy, the satellite beacon. So it's such a fun mission. It doesn't pay anything, but it's it's super fun. Osmer has joined us in the chat. Good morning, he says. Um, all right, so... Now we need to align to our uh, little man. Where is he? Derelict site. All right, so let's get... All right, let's just go this way. Let's put, tap that right shift just to lock our vector, our heading. Cosmo is here in the chat. Super Duper is here in the chat. What's up, Crouch? Good morning, at least from Kentucky. The Americans are waking up and tuning in. I'm well, man. I'm well. We're uh, we're out here at the moment, just uh, just in, just enjoying things, right? Um, hang on a second. Hmm. I wonder why. I wonder why my view's not working. There we go. So we're here on uh, Walla, going to a derelict site as part of a mission. We started off the evening earlier in the stream doing a couple of wreck explorations from the list of wrecks that uh, have been posted up on one of the discords. We went to Lyria, looked at two wrecks there, went across to Walla, looked at another wreck there. Somehow I managed to glitch through or into or become part of the moon's surface and was just being EVA'd into the surface. And then we glitched out and I couldn't get back in my ship, I couldn't interact with anything. So we uh, we tried to change helmets but then that became disastrous because the helmet that I put on didn't protect us from the atmosphere and we died and uh, now we're on our way to um, this wreck site let's take that shift off that vector we'll just pitch down a little bit pitch down we'll lock that vector again so now we picked up a mission we're going to go to this wreck site to discover the what happened to this dude who was there right missing person's case. So we've got a little bit of a little bit of flight time involved. Let's unlock that. Turn off quantum. Sounds like it's been a good time. Trit is here as well. How are you, my friend? Welcome to Crouch After Dark. It's Saturday night here in Australia. We've been streaming for coming up on three hours. It's been uh, it's been a fun, super chill, you know, very relaxing vibe. Got all my lights down super low. And, uh, you know, normally, you know, if we've got lights on, it's all crazy. Like these ones are on and then all this other ones, are, it gets a bit full on. Turn that off. All right, we're coming back in through the atmosphere now. That's not good. We don't want that. Let's pitch up to sort of 
positive rate of climb so about there tap that shift key there we go our altimeter's climbing up that's good yeah but it's working crazy so that right shift is something i didn't know about if you want to maintain a specific heading um you know you can set the attitude of your ship at the attitude being its position you know relative to its movement so where is its nose pointing and all that sort of stuff and um and then tap the shift key the right shift key and it locks all those vectors so i can no longer now with my mouse or my joystick you know change the flight path of the ship so if you want to travel in a specific direction on a specific heading you can use that right shift key to lock that heading in place and then enable cruise control and off you go we'll tap it to unlock it just reset our, no our nose so we'll just do it a little way we'll go mildly positive right shift to lock it in place off we go have you found any missile launches yet no but we found some cool helmets man and we had to abandon them sadly and our death counter ticked up from 16 to 17. Um, I found a grenade launch the other day. I found a rail gun in a regular bunker. Um, and then we found these three cool subscriber helmets. One which I've got on. Oh, no, we... 30k. Oh, no, we're in space now. We're in space. Let's unlock that. And we'll lock that heading there. Yeah, so I installed um, the Kerbal Space Program. I'm loving that. I'm just going through all the tutorials, really. It's super in-depth. That's crazy, crazy. Uh, but I can I can see that being a hell of a lot of fun. Um, something that I can play in between Star Citizen. Alright, let's turn cruise off. Unlock our trajectory. So that way, you know, I can do these sorts of streams in Star Citizen while we wait for, you know, things to improve and, you know, content to come on and, you know, the servers to be stable and, you know, keep running your know, regular Star Citizen sort of stuff. And then uh, in my off stream time, so to speak, I can get into some Kerbal Space program. Sounds like amazing time. Mm, that come in handy if I remember it. Yes, indeed. Engaging quantum drive. Hold fast, sir. <laughs> I found more rail guns over grenade or missile launches. I think I've only found a single grenade launch at this patch. Found mi uh, rail guns, but not any missile launches. I've only found one missile launcher. I don't think we need this on either. Another darkness approach. Look out the front. I wonder if we'll be able to see it. Sorry, I need to need to turn that light off for a second. We flew over the last one. Get back in the cockpit. I think that's it up there. Oh, no. It's below us. Look out the front. Down here somewhere. Get back in the cockpit. Can't see any fires or anything yet. Still, you know, one and a half clicks out. There it is. Look out the front. Look out the front. Just some tiny little fires burning. Let's get some lights on. Is that going to help? No. Nope. Wow, is it mostly intact? I 
Are these the ship lights? They are crazy. All right, fair enough. Yeah, it's mostly all together, isn't it? Well, separate pieces, but mostly together. Whereas the other ones have been all s spread out all over the place. All right, let's let's get down there and have a look. Deploy landing gear. Landing gear being deployed for touchdown, Commander. All right, we'll touch down just at the front up here. And then we can go have a look around. Whoop, 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 whoop. All right, engines off. Let's turn them lights off. Actually, we'll leave the lights on. Hmm. Maybe actually, if we're going to put lights on, we might be able to line the ship up with the rest of the the wreck. Oh shit! <laughs> Oh, incredible. That's ridiculous. Alright. Of course that was going to happen, right? That was preordained. It was written. Alright, that'll do. Jesus, really? What was that about? This is why you need the Pisces, great lights. Yeah, the Pisces has amazing lights on it. The ship lights need some work. Some don't do anything. Some work great. Some just blind you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's been brought up a couple of times. You know, there's issues, obviously. Um, let's We can turn this light back on. Um, Corpse by Griefer? No. No, I would have got a, um, a notification that somebody had, you know, committed, you know, grievous bodily harm and all that sort of stuff. And that was an NPC for sure. Yeah, it looked like they are being bad. There's a 100% NPC. Um... And because I was napping about in my fancy cinematic views, I didn't get any of the cockpit warnings of the ships being there and stuff. And that was just me not paying attention. <laughs> By the time I figured out what was going on, that dude was already on his collision course. Uh, all right, let's go again. Where should we wear today? All right. Marwin didn't last long. Oh, God damn it. Um, yeah, let's open this up. That goes to 18. <laughs> Save. <laughs> Alright. So it was an NPC, take something with bigger guns. Oh, no, that ship, I could have handled anybody in that ship. Um, it's just that, you know, not being in the ship to get the warnings about the ships being there. Is what screwed me then. I have noticed, and I've really been loving it, that there's way more NPC pirate ships spawning at outposts and stuff when you go there. Um, I've been absolutely loving that. It's been amazing. Um, you know, I've had to run in a few instances because I've just been in a ship that just, you know, there's too many of them. This ship, the 300i, you know, got mobbed by four of them, so we cleaned those guys up. Uh, it was super fun. So, so good. Speaking of which, I put three size three repeaters on my Titan last night. I'm going to test them tomorrow. I love it. Yeah, I've got some um, uh, three size three cannons, laser cannons on the 300i. You big punch. Right, let's get outfitted. Poor Marwin, he didn't even get to do anything. Dark red, oh, I like these. I think we have to go the 
Oracle helmet in red. We need a, some sort of shiny torso piece. Clash armor, maybe. We could go pirate now. Why do I still have this? <laughs> Did I get my stuff back? Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Oh. It's heavy. It's big and chunky. Let's get out of here. Do we want to go big and chunky? There are a lot of NPCs showing up. I've been using my Redeemer for looting and exploring. I generally just get bored and give up. <laughs> yeah, it's been great fun. I've been loving it, man. Been loving it. More life, please. More action. More NPC-driven activity. That's what I want. All the player stuff is amazing, but that's not what's going to keep people playing the game. Most people aren't interested in a full-time 100% player based everything <laughs> I want to go and refuel some NPCs in my staff era please if I can refuel a player great I will but you know there's not a lot of players around who need to be refueled Could go red with the red helmet. I like it. But then we need something to offset this band here. Copper in the legs. Or medivac some NPCs. Yeah, there's loads of stuff. And, and I've no doubt all that stuff will be coming. And we'll see an explosion of it when we get to that point. Obviously, you know, we, we still have all these killer foundations these pillar pieces of work core the core tech once that's in and ironed out over the next year year and a half um because obviously you know i, I totally expect that any implementation oh, got a little bit of brass in there. i can do a bit of brass at the bottom matches the brass at the top shamik um, okay. We got a little bit of blue in these. That grey-black. I think I think, I think I think it works. I think it works. We're in a medium armor now. They just don't work properly though, do they? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I don't really have a lot of other options. Yeah, no. Alright. But once all that is in, you know, I think we'll see a plethora of, of these sorts of missions available to us. Obviously, we need a stable planetary nav mesh for the NPCs to walk on. We need um, persistent entity streaming so the server, or the, the game knows where everything is and is, is you know, st storing that and replicating it through the replication layer. And we need uh, dynamic server meshing so that the infrastructure can spin up more servers when it needs to and replicate the contents of those services through the replication layer to the new servers that have spun up. Uh, you know, it would be entirely possible for two players to be quite close to each other, but running through separate servers. But because that replication layer is there, everybody's getting everything at the same time. But they're just in, you know, this is the wizardry that they're trying to create, right? Everybody appears to be in the same place, but technically they're not. I was playing with a group and we turned uh, an 890 into a character and wanted to do some medical beacons, but we spent hours and there were none, yeah. Medical beacons, I don't think that there are any NPC medical beacons right now. There's only player-driven uh, uh, beacons. Um, and they're quite active. These pants just aren't doing it for me. I think I need to either change the arms. Here we... Because we got this blue down here that just, it's, it's not represented anywhere else and it's clashing quite badly. 
We need some slightly different arms. If we got some arms that have a splash of blue in them. <laughs> this, this, is, this is what I'm down to, right? Nitpicking over my armor. Because the, the, the game is, you know, giving me a good reason to, uh, you know, spend time on my character. I'm just going to go out there and something disastrous is going to happen. If that, I might as well look good, right? That I can make sure happens. Okay, th this is too blue. This is too blue. Don't have anything. Don't. All right, so we're... That's what everybody does. <laughs> all right, I'm good with this. Let's, let's gear up. Let's go all the usuals. Hopefully we see something pop up in this. Let's grab a couple of med pens. Let's raid this stash here. Grab two of those. Did you put something in there for me? You did. Thank you. Let's grab ourselves a pistol. Just in case and it looks cool, right? Let's grab ourselves a buck. Papa buck. What papa -ba buck? Papa -ba buck. Should we put on a medium armor? 68H. Oh, I see what's going on here. We now have this is 68H2. It's heavy backpack. We don't have any medium backpackers. We could buy a medium backpackers on the way out. All right, we still have our missing persons case. <laughs> we we will get to some of these other wreck sites, I'm sure. We'll we'll do this one because this is spawned specifically for us, and we might be able to recover our body. I would like to put one distortion um, repeater, or maybe a distortion cannon on the 300R on the, on the nose and then have the two laser cannons on the wings so that way I've got that distortion that's ripping through shields and then the cannon fire coming after it <coughs> excuse me 20 seconds up oh. the water all right let's get on that train we're off again Space, to Space Tomato is live doing his moon tour. I was chatting to him about that the other day, but I don't think we got to times and all that sort of stuff. And obviously, things are kicking on. Didn't see this pop up, damn it. Oh, yeah, posted today. 5.50. I missed it. This would have been great fun. I should now I might still be able to jump in. We'll have a quick look in a second. 
I do want to finish this wreck. Yeah, I was mentioning to um, Keenan the other day that, you know, I, I still haven't been to all the moons. And he was like, oh man, I'm super keen to have a moon tour. And I'm thinking about doing it this weekend. And before you know it, it's this weekend. So we'll have a look at that. He did only just post something um, early this afternoon, though. All right, let's have a quick look at this. Hello, gardeners. Every uh, good GII member today, I'll be throwing another casual event for anybody. Um, what are we looking at over here? Why are we looking at that screen? That's a little bit random. Let's let's fix that up. Look at these numbers here. People aren't interested in my exploration. It's devastating screen screen capture. We want to go display number one. Yeah, this is what we're looking for. Spending about 10 minutes at each location just to make sure we can uh, make each stop in a reasonable amount of time. But depending on the results, I'm happy to schedule a longer tour at a better time for all parties. I realize this is a bit early for the Americas, sorry. I have a wedding to attend, but we will be accommodating you more soon. Once our rent team is built out. This will be a casual tour of several predetermined destinations on every moon in the game. We will briefly stop at each location for a few minutes to conduct a full two to three hour tour of every moon in Star Citizen. You'll be able to fly your own ship. They will have large central ship that leads the group. An undersuit and helmet are suggested. This will be streamed live on my channel. Depending on group size, we will use multiple voice channels. We'll are free to break from the group and remain on the moon if we are moving too fast. So this is what I really struggle with, right? This is 12, 1200 uh, PM, 12 PM, right? UTC. So I'm plus 10, right? So this becomes 10 AM my time. But it's not 10 a.m. and it's running right now. <laughs> this is this is what I get super confused about. I'm really bad with times. Um. <laughs> oh boy. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Are distortion weapons working in this patch? Yeah, sure, of course. They're not as amazing as they were. They've been nerfed a bit, but they still work, of course. You know, people who used to use them and, you know, don't anymore carry on and complain, oh, they've been nerfed and not worth using. But, you know, they are what they are now. And, you know, if you don't want to use them, don't use them. But they still help break down shields. So that's what they're supposed to do. As far as I know, they are working. Watched a recent video on using the Vanguard Sentinel the other day. Did they work? Just not as great as they used to be. Alright, so we're going to take the 300i back to that wreck site. Man, we had so much atmosphere flying, damn it. Maybe we can try and cut some of it with some fancy quantum jumps. Yep, we didn't buy a backpack. We just got straight on the train and left. <laughs> we have classics. Classics. Let's just take any old backpack. Yeah, this guy. Oh no, that was my one. He had all the hodgepodge of armor. He died very quickly, poor Marwin. All right, this one I don't think we can silence because I think I ran out of silences. <laughs> yeah, these are all size one. That's all good. That's all good. We'll grab a couple of 
couple of clips of this guy. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's good enough. All right, now he's he's outfitted now for a little bit of space work, right? Look at those bloody eyes. <laughs> All right, we're sorted out. And aside from the pants having a little bit more blue in them than the arms, it doesn't look too bad. Meta is saving up for a Vanguard. Looks like it can take on almost anything. Welcome to the ASOC Vehicle Retrieval System. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Thank you for visiting our Your vehicle has been delivered to the Whatever. Alright, hangar three. We're in a proper size hangar this time. Let's get back there and see what we can do. Thank you so much to everyone who's tuned in tonight, spending the Saturday checking out what we're doing here in Star Citizen tonight. We we'll appreciate you being there. Thank you so much for the 10 likes. It's been amazing. I've got to, uh, oh, wait a minute, hang a three. Should do a little bit of grinding so we can do some giveaways again. That was great fun when we did that a couple of weeks ago. But we're here back once again, it's Saturday night. I think we did a super chill Last Saturday, too, where I had all the lights dimmed. This song's very piratey, isn't it? A bit Pirates of the Caribbean ish to me. I went in the last patch wanting another. The Redeemer just doesn't handle well enough. Love the, sh the guns in the Redeemer. Those size 5 ballistic Gatlings. 2600 rounds. Oh. Just shred things. Alright, let's fire up some systems. Let's get some doors open. Let's see if we can map a course. You are clear to launch. Somewhere close to... Oh, have we lost the tracker? I think we might have lost it now. Oh, we, we lost the mission. Oh, yeah, they took it away from us. Rude. Why are these so far away? Again, these are the sorts of things I want to test in the PTU. You know, what's the point of showing me, you know, a combat beacon that's 22 million kilometers away, 23 million kilometers away? Research, deploy probe, these are great fun. 2500. We got much, do we? Deliveries? We don't got much. Let's go to the next wreck site. All right, where is it? Uh, let's have a look here. Let's go back here. Let's have a look in Star Citizen chat. Let's have a look here. Right. Where are we going? All right, we still need to go to the other one on Walla. So let's let's set our course there, and then we're done with the Art Corp system. So we went to 45 last time. We got there, found a whole bunch of cool stuff, and then glitched into the moon and got screwed. <laughs> so now we now we're coming to 48. Running area 48, lovely. Let's go. Is this a vertical hangar? Let's just go slowly. The roof up there. It's open. Oh yeah, we're at area 18. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I still managed to clip it. 
How did I still manage to clip it? All right, let's go. Let's get a little bit of height. There's no planes around us. We can see on the radar there. There's something behind us. That's where we left from. We're not moving. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. And please visit again. What do I think of the ships uh, you designed and posted them in Discord? Yeah, I, um, I haven't had a proper look. I keep skimming, skimming over them. When we go a little bit of time, let's have a look. Right, let's have a look. This body has a very 100 eye feel to me, this little bit here. I'm getting uh, Gladius vibes from the ailerons here. I like it, it looks cool, man. The only thing I'd do is this rounded nose here, the aesthetics of this don't really match the hard, you know, aggressive masculine edges you've got on the rest of the ship, especially this super, super sharp point here. Um, this just doesn't, it doesn't feel like it fits. You know, look at, you know, look how aggressive this looks at the back. And then you've got this you know, tooth. There we go, man. It looks cool, man. That's more! Just made the wing engines a bit smaller and added a few things. Very nice. Very nice. It's cool fun, this sort of stuff, isn't it? Amazing. Amazing. Uh, Alright, let's have a look. Let's uh, set our course. So we're going to mining facility 40, uh, 48, right? Let's jump over there. When we get to this location, uh, let's just spin us around. Once we get to this location here, let's just reduce our speed a little bit. Where do we want to go? Um, get that open. So from area 48, we go 25 kilometers on a heading of 171 degrees. Why are we going so fast? Because we've got cruise control on. Why 
Whoa, how did I stop right on it? Alright, so somebody down there. So we want to go 171, right? We're pretty much turning all the way around. One seventy one. Four twenty five kilometers. Look out the front. Gotta be something in these mountain ranges here, right? How long far are we going? 25 kilometers. Oh, we haven't veered off our heading at all. But so far, every... Oh, we, we veered a little bit. <laughs> so far, every mission has resulted in a race back. 48. That's only 16 kilometers away. So we still need to go to 25. Okay, cool. You know, I if we had something that tells us how far we've gone. Uh, 171 should be this way somewhere. Here we go. Over here somewhere. Look out the front. The 10K is up here somewhere. It's a rock, damn it. <laughs> Looked like part of a ship. <laughs> Get back in the cockpit. Oh boy. Alright, 171. Alright, we're going this way. Sweet, sweet. Just to the base of a mountain, hey? I'm seeing things all over the place that look like wrecks. These green mountains, man. What is that about? I love it. What's that? A waller in these green mountains. This looks amazing. I don't think I've ever noticed this green color in, you know, Waller's surface before. All right, so obviously we got our wreck down here. That's set down just here. Deploy landing gear. Yes, Commander. Landing gear is being deployed. Acknowledged. Stop. Oh, wow. We're like right on the edge of this cliff, aren't we? <laughs> I think we should be good. I think we should be good. Engine's off. It's just by the greeny blue. Go towards it. It's just the base of the mountain. I wonder if that's from oxidized copper. Mm. Make sure you get into the flight cockpit. Should be red or yellow box. You're going to get stranded. 
We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so the ship's not as, you know, horizontal with the ground as I thought it was. That's all right. It's where we parked right in front of... Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Doing funny, funny business already. Look at this. I've never noticed the color of wallet like this before. All right, I don't think we're going to be able to jump up into that door. There's going to be some other puzzle here. Are we dropping down onto it again? All right, we got some lasers over here. Freaking lasers. Let's have a look. No door on the left here. What's up here? Actually, wait. Wait. Check the rest of this room first. Is there any looters for us? Nope, but there's a ladder that goes up here. Cool landing did. 10 out of 10. Thank you so much. Now, I need to remember, we're not here on a specific mission. We're just exploring. We lost the mission. We got done raided by pirates. Right, this doesn't open. Yeah, it just opens to this other side here, yep. Okay. So we want to be sure to check the flight cockpit. Could be a red or yellow box in there, okay. We'll see. Maybe this time we'll get some loot and we can get away with it. Um, I'm assuming then that this also went to the same sort of upstairs area. No, a dead end. That's what we wanted to get out into the cockpit. Um, okay. Okay. To get to the flight deck, jump from the side of the hill onto the wreck, then drop down in, hey? Ooh, what's that? Oh, it's a nothing. It's just a smaller turret holding the ground. Can't jump up there. It's a, that's a no jumping zone. It must be this high to jump from this side.
I don't think there's going to be any jumpy jumpy. There must be a way. That's it, you reckon, hey? Did we check this one too? Did we check this one first? I think we did. Oh, maybe we didn't. Let's okay. Let's quickly just check this one off. We had a blue box. All right. Managed to climb in through the front. Well, let's just take care of that thing while we're here. Can't quite get onto the The little box. Okay, okay. Because I swear sometimes when I've tried this, he's, he's grabbed on. Not a gonna work. -a. All right, there's another way. There's gotta be a way. This just doesn't look like enough of a enough of a jump here to be able to get up onto that engine. Okay. Still don't know if it's helped me at all. All right, here we go. No! <laughs> Alright, so we want to get a, an early jump off of this. Yep, sweet. We're gonna jump onto this. Jump back up onto this. Jump over all this. Alright, this time there's no door here. It's all you know connected. So we're gonna drop in through the window, maybe. That looks uh, pretty munted to me. Can we go in through this way? Oh, a yellow box. A yellow box. What is in the yellow box? Met us off. Good night, mate. Thank you for tuning in. What is in this yellow box? Okay, so... 
Artemex Arms Wildwood, Inquisitor Arms Aqua, some food and drinks and some pistols and some scopes. We'll take the pistols because we've been losing quite a few of them lately. <laughs> we can't fit these in me backpackers. Might as well take this tech, right? Now, let's close this. Let's continue our look around. We might be able to take that with us. We can chuck it out there. If I want to go down there just yet, let's take this box to the ship. Um, so we'll keep on looking around the rest of the wreck. <laughs> I gotta stop tractor beaming these things, man. They, they clearly don't like it. Alright, I swear there was more parts to this wreck. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, it looks pretty nasty in here. Oh. Wow, that's fully mangled, isn't it? Oh, this purple color is interesting. wonder what the story there is. Oh, there's another piece down there. I saw somebody over there. This one is everywhere. It is. It's all over the shop. wonder what's in this section here. Okay, some booby traps. Booby. What's in here? Has we got anything at all? Oh boy. What is this? Nothing. A little blue box here.
all these little, you know, hidey holes and stuff. And all right, doesn't look like there's any loot here. <clears throat> The only one was in that yellow box that we lost, and maybe something in this long central section here, if we can get into it. <clears throat> uh oh. Uh oh. Like this. Hey. Oh, there's a box there. Alright, we need to go this way. Looks like I found another one of those really fun spots. Let's... <laughs> Not again, Mr. Citizen! Not again! Brutal! Can't stand up. We cannot jump. We are stuck here! <laughs> not, not, not again. Yes. We has done it again. Oh, man. Man, this was supposed to be super chill. You know, nice, lovely little exploration through some wrecks. Maybe find a little bit of loot. But no, we have to fall off the end of this ramp into this glitch area we can't get out of. Oh, this was a good wreck too. Ramps and bits and pieces and uppy downies and... Oh yeah, now we're taking damage. Survival estimate, 48 seconds. I took my helmet off. My helmet has gone somewhere. Are you shitting me? Why is it in my bag? There's, there's no way out. <laughs> we are stuck. Try dropping your backpack. Let's try it. Nah, I just rolled it down the ramp, that's all, man. <laughs> now I don't have my backpack.
Give me my backpack back! <laughs> can we glitchy? Can we glitchy? There's my backpack, guys. It's there. It's there somewhere. No, right. it's gone. Sometimes putting loot on the ground. Yeah, the problem is I'm in. So I've fallen off the ramp into this bit in between the wall in here, right? I'm in all of this stuff. Mm. We're jumping, we're jumping, we're jumping. Can we get out? No, doesn't want us. <laughs> oh, shit. Here we go. I think that's a perfect end for four hours of Star Citizen gameplay. We got to see a couple of wrecks. We found some loot and lost it. We died a few times. But we got to see a few things and look around and um, enjoy a few wrecks. Let's turn that on one more click. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, Star Citizen, you amazing freak. So I might, I might duck off, go play some, uh, you know, some uh, Kibble Space program or... Um... <laughs> Amazing. Thank you so much to everyone who's tuned in tonight. Thank you. I really appreciate all the likes. I appreciate all the interaction in the chat. It's been great. Uh, it's, been, uh, it's been great fun. <laughs> this game can make life interesting. Uh, it certainly makes life... Su yeah, it does make life interesting. Uh, I love it. I love it all the same. I love it all the same. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you to all my American people who have tuned in towards the latter half of the stream. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And uh, I will see you either Mondays, Wednesdays, or Saturdays right here on YouTube. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>